Welcome everybody to a brand new series. That's right, we are ready to start our MLB The Show 19 franchise. And in case you guys haven't been paying any attention at all, most of you already know we are doing the Seattle Mariners this year. AAA squad is the Tacoma Rainiers. And the double-A squad is the Arkansas Travelers. So that should make Lance and Regier a little happy. We got a team from Arkansas in the organization. We're going to set everything to manual. I'm doing literally everything, including scouting. We'll start out here in spring training so we can get the squad ready to go, see how they do in spring training. Now... We're taking a look here at the roster, and of course, Seattle has gotten the rights to Yusei Kikuchi from Tokyo, Japan. However, he's not on the 40-man roster. Now, we have a full 40-man roster, and as you can see, people like Tommy Malone do not belong on our 40-man roster. I don't want any deep potential 60-something overalls on our 40-man. Neither should Alanis. That guy should not be on our 40-man roster. A 58 overall. Like, come on, for real? So, I'm looking around the roster here for some dudes we can do without. Like, David Freitas. Why would I want him on my 40, man? No freaking way. So, we're going to make some moves here. For sure. Wow, Tim Flyer. What a complete waste of space. But, you know, needless to say... He's going to stay on the roster just because he's not on the 40-man. But let's see. What else do we have? Anyone else who is wasting our time on the 40-man? Doesn't appear to be anybody there. There we go. Eric Falia. 26-year-old, 57C potential. Why are you on my 40-man? There's no way you're coming up. So we're going to trade some of these guys. Malone, Alanis, and Fritas are going to go to the Nationals for relieving pitcher Austin Williams. That's right. He's a B potential at least. He's a little old to be a 55, but at least he's a B potential. I'm willing to make that dump off. Then we're going to get rid of relieving pitching Sean Armstrong and the right fielder Falia. And we're going to pick up Randy Rosario for the pen now. He's 24 years old. He may become something in four years. Who knows? But we'll, we'll take that deal for sure. And then we had to make this flip here. Um, our prospect, Sam Carlson, starting pitcher. He's going to flip over to the White Sox for right fielder Blake Rutherford. Just because we did get rid of Falia and didn't really have enough outfielders in right field. So now we have four right fielders once more, and I can use one for every level of the organization and all that. So now we're going to simulate through spring training because, let's be honest, there's 162 regular season games. Nobody wants to see a spring training episode. So let's go ahead and simulate through this. Spring training has come to an end. Now, one thing we will do is look at some spring training stats. Now, Malik Smith batted 299. No homers, but three ribbies and five steals. That ain't bad. 277 for Mitch Hanniger. A 179 for Jay Bruce. Ugh. 286 with four homers for Encarnacion. Look at that. Five homers for Seager. Five for Santana. Three for Beckham. Five for Narvaez. Wow. The new acquisition getting it done. Uh, Shed Long, definitely not ready to be a major leaguer. Ichiro about at 286. Now, Ichiro retired in real life, but we're going to keep him for this season for his farewell because I'm pretty sure he's going to retire at the end of the season in the game. At least I hope he will. If not, then this is a terrible story, but I want him to, re to play out his last final season as a 45-year-old player with our Mariners. Now, he's not going to be a starter, because he's just not good enough to be anymore. Let's see how our pitchers did. Mike Leak. Wow. Okay, Mike. Obviously had three starts, but didn't even average earning one run. Holy crap. Danish, not that good. I've seen donuts better than that Danish. 120. That's a pretty damn good ERA. Wow, Ross Cup was terrible. Justice Sheffield did really well, but we're not going to call him up yet. 
We need to get him trained a little bit more. Marco Gonzalez will be our opening day starter. He didn't have a great spring, but we'll see what happens. Now, we needed to sign another starting pitcher. There wasn't enough for the minor leagues, so we're going to go ahead here and pick up Leon Mares, who is a 65, 21-year-old pitcher. So he's only a C potential, but who knows? Maybe that could climb a little bit if he does well. This is what our lineups are looking like against lefty pitching. We got D. Gordon, Malik Smith, Edwin Encarnacion, Domingo Santana, Mitch Hanniger, Ryan Healy, Kyle Seeger, Tim Beckham, and Omar Narvaez. So that's that's going to be our lineup against lefties. Now, against righties, we're going to have D. Gordon, Malik Smith, again, Edwin Encarnacion, as he's going to get the start at first base over Ryan Healy. We have Santana, Hanniger, then we're going to put Jay Bruce at DH, then we have Seeger, Narvaez, and Beckham. Okay, so Bruce only going to play against lefty pitching, uh, or against righty pitching. Marco Gonzalez will be our opening day starter. We're going to split the lefties and righties, so we're going to have Leak over Kikuchi. And then we're going to have King Felix, who's no longer the king. And then Wade LeBlanc. So our long relievers will be Chase and Bradford and Ronis Elias. Then we'll have Sam Tuivalaya and Dan Atavia, as well as Zach Roskup as our middle relievers. Swarzak and Corey Gearin will be the setup guys. And Hunter Strickland will start out as the closer. If he doesn't do well, we will probably put Swarzak in that role. Now, we have sponsorship. Now, here we go. We're going to put this sponsorship in this in-game ticker. It's 15000 per home run, so maybe could help increase our budget. Now, a short little training montage here, and I'll let you know what I did. Basically, every single pitcher is going to be in a pitching coach session, and then anyone who has bad contact is going to get the batting cages, and anyone who has contact that both against righties and lefties is over 50 is going to get the um, weight room. Now we're looking at you guys from the mini series. There's Bill Pin Archibald with the Phillies. There's Brett Weaver with the Reds. For some reason, the Reds always do this to him. They did it to him in the mini series, but he's in single A, which isn't going to help him grow. Marty McBombers, there he is, triple A for the Brewers. Caleb Boyd is going to start out in the majors. Don't know how true that is because most teams haven't started playing yet, but there he is. Colin Mentor in Triple A. Nice, nice. He's got a lot of guys in front of him. QJ Casimir unfortunately chose to start with the Padres and Manny Machado's in front of him, so we'll see what happens with him. They might trade him for another piece. Tom Terrific is going to start out as a giant in the majors. Alex Lynch Jr., the Hall of Famer, also on that giant squad. So watch out for the Giants in season number one for sure. Harrison Mann is going to start out in the Baltimore Oriole organization in AA. Ethan Long looks like they want to bring him up to the majors. I don't know if he's ready for that, but you know what? We'll see if he's up for the challenge with the Blue Jays. Bryce Barber is double A for the White Sox, so he'll be on the Barons. Then we have Adam Carmichael with the Indians. Apparently they're bringing him up. I don't know. They have two left fielders in front of him, so it'll be interesting to see how that works out. Vran Haxon is up behind Shane Green as a closer. So we'll see what they do there with their pen. Then we have Jacob Allen apparently going to be up as well, even though that organization's short on second baseman. And then catcher John Zoidberg for the Twins is going to be the starting double-A catcher, it would appear. And also in the Twins organization, Dominic Ekstrom at triple-A for first base. He might overtake Duda rather quickly and Justin Jones already going to start in the majors as he was a Hall of Famer okay the other Hall of Famer shortstop Paris Allen and there you go so that is nice and then his teammate left fielder Marley Bowman not quite called up yet but we'll see he's got a lot of guys in front of him but 
he's got the best potential of them all. And then Cameron Bats, the final player from the miniseries, Triple A, going to start out with with the Texas Rangers. So a few of these guys will be seeing them throughout the year, so you guys better get excited for that. Next episode will feature the opening series of the year, including opening day. Sean Manea taking on Marco Gonzalez, two lefties. Let me know how you like this episode. Please go ahead and uh, comment below. Drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Plenty more coming your way.